Hello everybody, welcome back. In this lesson I'm going to talk about clipping and masking. We can use clipping and masking to control which parts of a shape are visible. Uh, it's easier just to demonstrate than to explain what it means. I'm going to, uh, when it comes to clipping, first I'm going to select a clipping area. I'm going to create an ellipse. And I want this uh, to clip these shapes underneath the clipping area to be clipped. So whatever is sticking out of the clipping area will become invisible. And whatever is underneath the area will remain visible as usual. I select the clipping area as well as the shapes I want to clip. And I click on Object, Clip, Set. And as you can see, the inner part is still visible and the parts sticking out have become invisible. If I select the Node Editor tool, I see that the shapes still exist. They're just invisible and I can still edit the nodes as usual. If I want to undo the clipping, I make these parts visible again. I select the shape and I click on Object, Clip and Release. And here you see that the shape returns and it also shows the clipping object. Let's do it with the other two objects as well. Object, Clip, Release. And let's remove the clipping area. The masking, masking is pretty much the same as clipping. The only difference is that the lightness value of the masking area will define how transparent the object underneath it is. So I'm going to click and so draw an ellipse, uh, which will be my masking area. And I'm going to uh, add a gradient and I'm going to make the gradient white on the outside, white on the inside, excuse me, and I'm going to make the gradient black on the outside. So I decrease the alpha, increase the alpha channel to make it fully opaque and make the outside black. Now what's going to happen is that the, out, the shapes sticking out are going to become fully invisible and the shapes where uh, underneath the masking area where the masking area is black is go also going to become fully invisible and where the masking area is white it's going to become opaque and in the gray areas, it's going to become transparent to varying degrees. Let's click and select all the objects. So now I have my masking area, which is the big black and white ellipse and the three shapes underneath. And I clicked on Object, Mask, Set. And here I have it. Uh, the, as I said, the parts sticking out are invisible and they get more and more opaque as the shape becomes more and more white. I can also release the clipping area in this case by selecting the shapes for which I want to release the clicking, clipping, the masking area and click on mask, set, release. Thank you for your attention. I will see you in the next lesson.